Hello and welcome to Dog Day Chess. I recently played a game against a friend of mine and we arrived at this uh, knight pawn end game. He was playing black and his knights were harassing my king. And it was his move and he moved his knight over to g1 checking my king and I moved my king over to e3 and then he moved his other knight over to c5. And it was a friendly game so I asked him if he realized that even though my king was sandwiched in between his two knights that my king was safe from checks from either of those knights for at least four moves and he hadn't realized that and he wondered why or how I could uh, know that so instantly and I told him a very useful fact which is that a knight requires at least four moves to move to a square that's two diagonal squares away from it. Okay, And that's in the best case. That's if there are no other pieces in the way. If there are obstructions, then it'll take few more moves than that. Now this is a very useful fact to know. From the perspective of avoiding a knight that's hassling you, I think of this square as one of the knight's blind spots. And I know that moving to such a spot will keep me safe from that knight for several moves. And the key thing here is that I know this without having to take the time and the effort to calculate knight moves. So with this in mind, let's have a look at a more complete picture of the blind spots around a knight. Here's a diagram, I guess you can call it an infographic, of the number of moves that a knight requires to reach each of its nearby squares. Obviously the squares with the number one are the squares that the knight can jump to immediately. The number two squares are arranged in this diamond shape around the knight. And it takes two moves for the knight to reach any one of those squares. The number three squares are arranged in this tighter diamond around the knight, and it takes three moves to reach any one of those squares. And finally, as we saw earlier, we have the number four squares that are two diagonal squares away from the knight, and it takes four moves to reach any of those squares. So as you can see from this diagram, if you have a piece over here that's being attacked by this knight, then you can hide from that knight for at least a few moves by moving your piece over to this square or to that square. So these are the knight's blind spots as I like to call them. As always, I hope you learned something from this episode and thanks for watching.